yesterday. Somebody has said that in the course of human history, there will come a moment when one is required to make a decision. And if the person arises to the occasion, he will make that decision. And it may be irrevocable. Not everyone will, will stand up and make a decision when the time arises. But in our case, we have seen Benjamin Bui has a reason to the occasion. He is brave enough to grasp the opportunity to join the opposition. And he not only changed his whole life, but in fact, he may also change the life of Singaporeans. So we applaud Benjamin Hui for his bravery. What I like about Benjamin is he has humility and he has idealism. Humility and idealism. I think that's a, those are very good qualities. Wilfred is just as good. Wilfred is the one that that introduced the SPP to to Benjamin, and he is instrumental in in making Benjamin join the SPP. Is your team now complete? Do you have all five members? We'll let you know when the time comes. The time you said, uh, today you uh, revealed some surprises. Are we going to expect more surprises from you? Well, haven't we given you enough surprises? <laughs> uh, will there be more surprises? You have to wait, man. Given the strength of your team now, how do you consider your chances? Well, I think it's not my habit to predict my chances. But you have gone wrong with, with the team and you should, you should be able to tell for yourself whether your chances are good or not. You have seen the reaction of the residents of Bishan to Abayo. You should, you should know our chances from what you have observed. In fact, you should answer that question, whether our chances are good or not. Yes, definitely. With such good teammates, why not? Previously, we saw some candidates from NSP walking around with you, but today we don't see them around. Is there a problem? I think you're going to ask them. I, I, I don't know why they don't walk with us anymore. I think if you can ask them why they don't want to work with us anymore. Mr. Chum, you know, uh, looking at the number of uh, members <laughs> and can, for potential candidates you have now, it seems like SPP may be able to contest more than one GRC and two SMCs. Are there any plans to uh, head out to a different place for the party? I don't think we want to dilute our, our resources. 
We want to concentrate on a, on a few good potential constituencies. And we'll be happy if we can win all those constituencies that we contest in. We are not con contesting with any other opposition parties. We are content with what we have. You still have to, your team still needs to unveil uh, a Malay candidate. Mr. Hamid, uh, will, he be, will he be part of your team for Bishan Tupac? Well, when the time comes, you know. In, in, when it comes to assembling a team, for instance, Mr. Benjamin Tui seems to be focusing on the, the Chinese-speaking group, whereas uh, Mr. Wilfred Long then also you know, seems to be handling another, another part of the, the, the population. I mean, could you just... Explain a bit more in detail in terms of your team when it comes to assembling them. What is the strategy here? Well, Mr. Benjamin Pui is a multilingual person, and he told me that he would choose to speak Mandarin throughout this walkabout. And I said, Go ahead. He's not, he's not trying to show his skills in Mandarin. But he thought he would communicate better on the first walkabout by using Mandarin. Mr. Chum, is there any chance you will see another government scholar inside the team? <laughs> I don't know myself. You have to wait and see. Mr. Chum, how long did it took to assemble this team? Well, Wilfred has been a member since 2002. And he is the person in contact with the scholars. But how long did it take to actually narrow down to the five candidates? I think Wilfred is more familiar with that. We'll consider that as a last question and the first time you hear me speak in English to... We'll take questions later on. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.